Hey, 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 all you beautiful folks out there. So I'm currently sitting in my car waiting for the beautiful rain to lighten up just a tad so I can hobble inside and get to work. <laughs> Day one. Um, so I just wanted to give you a very quick and to the point thought process for you to let roll around in your pretty little mind. So I get asked a lot about what, what salvation means to me if I don't believe that it's an eternal transaction. So what does salvation mean? Well, number one, it's a gift. So it's not something that you can earn. It's not something you can lose. It is the heart of the giver that it is gifted from, right? So I liken it unto a bicycle that your father has bought for you. And he bought it for you for the luxury of getting from place to place. Now, your father didn't buy it for you because you've been a good little boy and you deserve it. Your father did not take the bike from you because you've screwed up and you've been a bad little girl and so now you can't have the luxury of getting from place to place. Your father has gifted you with a bicycle. Now, you get to decide if you want to hop on the bicycle and have the luxury, the privilege, the ease of getting to wherever you're going. Think about the difference in running or walking as opposed to hopping on a bicycle to go from place to place. Now, if I decide that I do not want that bicycle, it's still mine. It's still available for me to hop on and get from place to place in. But if I never take it, it's not taken away or re re retracted. It is still mine and always available. I just miss out on the benefit of some of the extra things I could experience hopping on the ease of the transportation. Now, does that mean that God removes his level of, of blessing or his level of, of protection if I choose not to accept his gift? No. It just means that sometimes my journey might be completely the long way around and the most exhausting one because the easier bliss-filled path that I could have been going on on the bike that's mine, I just didn't want it does not mean at anywhere in that story did my acceptance of the bike, of the gift, never impacted my kinship to my father. And my father imagined his thought process. Sorry, I'm talking so loud, but I want to make sure you can hear me. Imagine his thought process. If I choose not to get on the bike, <laughs> I in no way, shape, or form can wrap my brain around the fact that my father, if I choose not to ride the gift, the bike, has anything inside of him that wants to strip his kinship away from me based on my choice to accept his gift. The gift is not about me. The gift is about him. I am simply the recipient of it, and it's not even my fault, nor did I do anything to deserve it, nor can I lose it. That is salvation. That's all that it is. It is for me. It is not some moment in time when I became his kid deserving of his gifts. It is the moment I simply changed my mind, changed my mind. That's all that it is, is changing my thoughts from no one cares about me. I'm a single entity sitting on this mud ball called earth. And when I die, I'm just going to wither away into nothingness. And there is nothing absolutely here for me greater than this skin and bones that can help me travel from place to place. It's a simple changing of the mind that says, aha, this way makes so much sense. And what have I got to lose? Jump on that back. Get there faster, less work, less obstacles more clarity, more mental awareness, that is salvation. And it has nothing to do with kinship. It's just about the gift and whether or not we decide to enjoy it. That's it, folks. Love y'all.